Hey everybody, it's Christine. So do you ever have moments where you feel just self-conscious and awkward? Like maybe you're at a big group event, you don't know anybody, and it's like a room full of strangers, or it's a networking event, and the buddy you came with is gone, and you feel incredibly self-conscious. I think we all have those moments, unless you're a super duper extrovert. I have them myself, and I actually had one this past weekend that I wanted to share with you and, and offer my tips for how I move through it so that you can use them the next time you have one of those self-conscious, awkward moments because they're really no fun, and they rob us of cool experiences. So here's what happened. I, for the 4th of July, I went out to Eden, Utah with a group called the Summit Series, which is 150 other entrepreneurs, innovators, really cool people, lots of extroverts, lots of social people. Didn't know many people, but I made some friends. And there was one day, actually on the 4th of July, where we were all hanging out at the lake, and the new friends I made had dispersed. They had gone off and done other activities, and I found myself alone with no one to talk to and no familiar faces. Now, in the past, this would have been a huge, huge, huge trigger for me, and I would have opted out of the situation somehow. I would have disappeared, gone to the bathroom, the buffet line, done something to make myself invisible, or I would have looked extremely busy doing something else. Like, my phone was also, it was always a great strategy. I'd be looking intently on my phone like I was very, very busy when really I had no new emails or texts to even check. So instead of making myself invisible or appearing distracted or busy, I do something different. And the first thing I do is I acknowledge the feeling of self-consciousness. I'm like, oh, wow, there's that, that feeling. Okay, I'm not going to shame it. I'm just going to gently say, all right, like, you're here. And then I remind myself that the feeling is just a response to thoughts I'm having about some old story I'm carrying around. So I use my creative imagination to tell myself a new story about how I'd like to show up. And then I drop a big truth bomb on myself, and this is probably the most effective thing I do. I remind myself that no one else is really looking at me. In those self-conscious moments, we become very self-obsessed and we think everybody else is noticing, oh, we're standing alone and no one must like that person or what's wrong with her or him. The truth is, they're invested in themselves. They're involved in their own conversation. They probably don't even notice. So that truth bomb, dropping that truth bomb on yourself that really no one else is even noticing is a great reality check and will bring you some relief. And then the next thing I do is I shift my awareness off of me. When you are focused so much on yourself, then you don't observe what's around you. I start to take in gratitude for the scenery, the people, start to engage in great people watching. And then I put myself in the game. I step out of my comfort zone. I do something that pushes me to my edge, whether it be talking to a new person or in this case, just being there alone. I found a seat in the open space, in the middle of the deck, and I sat down by myself. And when I did that, I made sure I maintained an open body position. This is key to remember too. You want to not close off. You know, often when we feel alone, we do this, we look down, we close off, we have a weird look on our face. So you want to remain in an open body position, smile, and just breathe. I also practice centering myself, bringing my awareness to my lower abdomen, taking deep breaths, moving my energy from my head and negative self-talk into my center. And then the final thing I do is I practice my work as a light worker. I look around, I send loving energy. I imagine white loving energy from my heart and I send that to people. I give gratitude for the land. I connect with spirit and I just radiate love. And I'm no longer thinking about me. I'm no longer self-obsessed and so I'm no longer self-conscious. This always works. And the fun thing is in this case, I was sitting there for maybe five minutes, centering myself, breathing, sending light, and one person showed up on my right and one person showed up on my left. I met two new people. The one on my left happened to be a cute guy, so that was like bonus. So I can't guarantee if you practice this, you're always gonna attract a cute guy or girl, but I can guarantee you will no longer opt out of what could be great experiences, and you will increase your odds of meeting interesting people and you won't have to carry around the burden of feeling self-conscious because you belong. You belong wherever you are. No more opting out. Much love and many blessings. I'll see you next week.